everybody, welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine. Our website is down here, you can visit that after the video. Uh, of course, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe before you do that. Uh, but if you have a scuba diving question or a topic that you would like to discuss, then type it down in the comment section underneath this video and use the Ask Mark hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video. Uh, I do my best to answer any question that is asked in the comments, um, as well as the general community as well. But the ones with the Ask Mark hashtag do get preferential treatment. Um, so this week or today, I'm answering a question from Gary about combination inflators and washing your BCD. So Gary asks, if you have air integration on your inflator deflator, how do you recommend rinsing the inside of the BCD? I'm not sure dumping water down the second stage is a good idea. So the thing is, is that you don't need to worry about combination inflators as much as you do washing a traditional second stage. The main problem with washing a second stage is if it's depressurized and if you push the purge button whilst it's submerged as this can allow water to get inside not just inside of the second stage water is fine inside of the second stage but it can get inside of the hose as well and cause the hose to rot from the inside which you can't see combination inflators which are basically an inflator to inflate your bcd with a second stage built into it they don't have that problem because you have that quick disconnection on the hose. So you just wash it as normal, really. With the, um, uh, the quick disconnect hose disconnected, you can press any of those buttons and the water isn't going to go anywhere where it can't. Um, so if you do, I don't have one with me, unfortunately. I've got inflators. Um, I don't know if I, oh, I do have one loose. Um, if you have <clears throat> one, it, it effectively has the purge button, it has an inflate button and a deflate button, and it's all just in one unit. Um, so the mouthpiece is now where you would orally inflate, but it's also where you would inhale. And yeah, I just put water in there. I would push the dump valve, and that would open up the airway into the corrugated hose that would then fill up your bcd uh, if you press the inflate button it wouldn't really go anywhere it might come out of there but that's no big deal uh, if you press the purge button it's connected to the same thing so i wouldn't worry too much about it but if you are worried then you can just um, remove one of the dump valves or the entire shoulder assembly. I'm trying to find a good wing that I can show you on because some of them are upstairs. Let me just grab one. So this is going to be fairly similar to most BCDs. Uh, let me just deflate it first. So if you're worried about inflating or sorry, putting water in through the inflate tour, uh, what you can do is usually just unscrew this fitting here and kind of bypass it. So these just unscrew. Just be aware that a seal will uh, will come out, so make sure you don't lose that. And um, uh, yeah, you can just fill it up straight from there. They usually have some kind of system to control what angle the hose comes out at. So when you're reassembling it, uh, just make sure that it goes in at the right angle. Otherwise your inflator hose is gonna go straight into the back of your head or way over your shoulder. Um, and this is just kind of finger tight, really. Make sure you don't cross thread it after you're done. And then just finger tight and you're good to go. Same with the, uh, the kidney dump. Most BCDs, because on some BCDs, uh, some of the Scuba Pro BCDs, they have a locking nut on that elbow. Uh, so if you go to the, um, the kidney dump, you can usually unscrew them. They have a little spring and a sealing surface on there, and you can just fill that up to, uh, to wash the inside of your BCD. Similar thing, I tend to retract that spring, hold on to it, line it up, and then I tend to unscrew it until it clicks there um nope, there and just screw it back up make sure it works and then inflate it to make sure it still functions uh but yeah you can bypass the entire thing 
but I wouldn't worry about it. Um, just treat it like a traditional inflator. Uh, you can disconnect the hose underwater and then reconnect it. It's, um, you, you got the air pressure on the inside when it's, uh, when it's pressurized underwater. So no water is gonna go up into the hose. When it's depressurized, you disconnect the hose and then there's no chance of, of water getting in it. So uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's, I don't think it's as much of an issue as you think it might be. Yeah, the issue comes with um, second stages is when when you're washing, when they're depressurized, you don't have that water, uh, that air pressure in the hose holding or at least pushing any water from getting into the hose. So if it's depressurized and you press that purge button whilst you're washing it and there's water inside of the second stage, then you're opening the valve, water that can then flow into the hose. And then once it's inside of the hose, if you don't know it's there and you don't wash it out or dry it out, then it can cause the inside to rot. You don't know it's rotting because you can't see the inside of the hose and the next time you pressurize it, it goes bang. So we don't dunk our second stages and press that purge button. Um, but when you have a combination inflator, it's not an issue because you disconnected the hose anyway. Um, and yeah, you can just put water in through the mouthpiece, press the purge or the vent button on your um, uh, on your deflator for the BCD, and that will open up the airway to get into the corrugated hose. It'll flush in there, you can clean your BCD, and then you can drain it the same way. You just don't press the inflate or the purge button and it won't be an issue. If you're not comfortable with that, you can always just take the entire hose off uh, of most BCDs. If not, you just use the um, uh, the kidney dump and that should be, um, uh, should be enough to be able to get water in. Uh, there are actually some um, Ziegel BCDs and Atomic BCDs. You can actually unscrew the inflator completely and just have the bare corrugated hose and then you can fill up the corrugated hose. Uh, someone also makes a fitting that is the, the standard like faucet um, screw thread and then that turns into like a quick disconnect hose. Uh, it, it won't work for combination inflators because they tend to have the larger like C-Gen or uh, like a Buddy or um, Scuba Pro fitting. Um, but for a traditional DIN style quick disconnect, you can actually connect a water hose and then just fill it straight from the, um, uh, straight from the tap. But um, uh, yeah, scuba stuff tends to be quite waterproof. Um, the only problem is, is yeah, with actual second stages, when it's built into an inflator, it's not an issue. Any other questions, uh, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use that Ask Mark hashtag to get yourself and your question featured. Otherwise, remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.